What's up guys, it's Josh, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm using the useful zombies mod, and you can see I'm running around, look at my skin, I'll hit F5 again to go front view, and what do I look like? Yes, I look like a zombie, so no, I do not have a skin on, uh, the head is a little low it looks like, but no, I do not have a skin on, this, is, I have my default skin on here, and it is amazing, so... Let's just show you how this works. So you can see right here, I could take these off. And I am just regular Steve because Minecraft glitchy. Minecraft is glitchy. And it doesn't like us and loader skin. Now this cape is not part of the mod. It's part of Optifine. So don't be going like, hey, I installed the mod. Where's the cape? It is Optifine cape and I use Optifine. So therefore, I have the cape. But anyway, let's get into how this mod works. So... You can see in my hand, we have a Sword of the Undead. Now, this is the sword that is included in the mod, and what it has is a thousand hits of durability, but I do not know exactly how much damage it deals and all that shenanigans. So, do not ask me. It's not on the mod or the forum post either, so I am not exactly sure about that. But, nevertheless, let's go ahead and let's show you guys how to be crafting the armor. Well, I don't even know if it is armor. Let's put it on and see. Yeah, it is armor. Okay. So, what we can do is we actually get rotten flesh. Now, what we can do with this rotten flesh is throw it into the furnace and cook it up. And you can see we get cooked rotten flesh. And this cooked rotten flesh can be eaten for actual food which is very nice but what we need to do with this cooked rotten flesh place it four like that I believe or maybe be not cooked rotten flesh I'm sorry we need to take rotten flesh and put it four like that to make le zombie leather now I'd recommend to the mod creator if he sees this video to change the texture for zombie leather make it more like zombie flesh looking and not just a recolored version of actual leather in the game so what we're gonna do right now is just create ourselves a lot of zombie leather and there we go out this zombie leather we can actually start creating things like the zombie tunic and the zombie helmet and stuff like that so on you can make the zombie boots and pants all normally so now what we need to do is we can equip that and we actually get zombie looks so let's hit f5 twice and you can see we actually look like a zombie now and that is very cool i really like how you can just texture yourself to look like a zombie very easily and it's very efficient now what i would think would be cool if down here our hand that I'm punching instead of it looking like the Steve hand uh, we can actually have it look like the zombie because it, you could see with the te or with the uh, armor we have on it has the armor all the way down to our hands and covering that unlike normal armor so let's head back and we can show you guys how to build the sword of the undead so what you need to do is you need to get these things called zomb hardened zombie flesh and to do so we need to get ourselves some rotten flesh and I'm just gonna make this because it's real quick and we only need four of this oh excuse me we need eight of it nine and what we do is we place it in a circle here just like that and we get hardened zombie flesh now what we do with the hardened zombie flesh is throw it into the furnace and let that cook up and out we will get a zombie ingot. Now the zombie ingot what we'll do is act like it's just regular ingots, throw it into our crafting bench and with a stick and two zombie ingots gives us a sword of the undead. Now if mobs come, let's set it to night and let's set it to hard real quickly you can see Oops, that's peaceful. Normal hard. Mobs will start to form, and we can actually go ahead and kill them. So it seems to have 
equivalent attacks as a diamond sword so if we pull this out you can see a diamond sword has more durability so that's better and let's just go ahead and we can attack this so it takes one two three hits now if we find another skeleton we'll see how many hits it takes with a diamond sword which i believe it is three as well but for now that since we can't find a skeleton we'll probably just spawn one in real quickly Alright, apparently I am bad at finding skeleton spawn eggs. Here we go. And diamond one, two, three. So you can see that uh, sort of the undead works about the same as a diamond sword minus the durability on it is not as good. But other than that, I really enjoy how this mod runs and I like it, so... Only things I would ask the mod creator if he gets a chance of seeing this to change would be the zombie uh, leather, and that is pretty much all. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please leave a rating, let me know how I did, and I'll see you in the next one. And always remember, Ingbar.